the um, excitement is really about to begin. It is now approximately 4.35 in the morning on Tuesday, January the 20th. This is the inauguration day for the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama. I am traveling on a bus with the Philly Freedom Riders of the National Action Network, the Philadelphia chapter of which Paula Peoples is the leader. And um, there's two buses actually on this group that are going to our nation's capital for this historic day. And so this is just the beginning of telling the story of these two buses for the Philly Freedom Riders, NAN chapter out of Philly, uh, to, to see and to document what we can from um, uh, the perspective of this community folk coming together to go and, and witness this historic occasion. So we'll be back with a little bit more as this um, trip begins. But right now we're waiting, we're waiting for the buses to pull off. Thank you. And this is what it looks like out here at the bus depot. We're at the RFK Stadium, um, which is in Maryland, heading on into our nation's capital to see this exciting historic day, the swearing in of Barack Obama. I came with the Philly Freedom Riders, the NAN organization, National Action Network, founded by Reverend Al Sharpton, and people are everywhere out in the RFK bus uh, stadium area waiting to make their next move, and for us, That'll be getting on the metro so that we can head on into Washington. It's really cold out here today, too. I'm telling you, it is cold. If you can see the steam coming from my mouth, but there's so much excitement in the air that the temperature doesn't really concern us so much. But at any rate, we continue to document this great day, January 20th, 2009. Okay, we're getting closer and closer to the metro train, and people are all around us, as you can see. Just tons of people, tons of people walking on in. So people are everywhere. Folks are greeting each other. It's a sea of people, black and white and otherwise, uh, coming together for this historic great celebration. The victory of Barack Obama as the next president of the United States. makes you speechless, the thousands and thousands and thousands of people who come out uh, to witness the swearing in. Even those of us who are at the National Mall, it's like it's okay. There's a jumbotron screen up front, and people are prepared to wait to bear the cold to see all that they can see on this day. So, uh, we continue to wait out on the National Mall. It is packed uh, shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip, body to body everybody after Barack Obama. Interestingly, every time um, uh, George Bush um, is, is shown on the on the jumbo screen, we hear a lot of booing going on, a lot of booing going on, and a uh, song that I often hear at uh, sports games, na 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 George Bush, goodbye, okay. Yep, that's what folks are saying today.
words of scripture, the time has come to set aside childish things. The time has come to reaffirm our enduring spirit, to choose our better history, to carry forward that precious gift, that noble idea passed on from generation to generation, the God-given promise that all are equal, all And now the swearing-in has taken place and people are beginning to leave the National Mall by the thousands at a time. Barack Obama, now President of the United States of America, the swearing-in actually didn't take that long, but now it is definitely done. We're just going past the Bureau of Engraving and Printing right now, where I see the face of Abraham Lincoln hanging down from this huge banner. People everywhere walking, walking in peace, walking in pride, walking in excitement for the future of America, a future that they now believe they can really see because Barack Obama has been sworn in. It's time to get ready to show our love to our bus driver, and so Mr. Bowie is handling that. On the tail end of our trip, coming back from the inauguration of America's first African-American president, and we're doing something that is done traditionally on bus trips, at least by African-Americans, and that's that we are. So take up a little collection for the bus driver at the end. It's a way of saying thank you for a safe trip, and a little tip on the side for whatever they get from doing the job that they do um, as a bus driver. So Mr. Bowie is handling that for us. Well, it's been a long day, but it's been very much so worthwhile. We were able to file over 20 reports for 900 AM WURD, not by myself, but with the help of Bill Anderson, my colleague, who is the morning man at the station. He hosts the Wake Up With Bill show with the assistance of Vincent Thompson, who is uh, a deputy director of communications for the school district of Philadelphia, but a longtime journalist and reporter in his own right, having worked at the Philadelphia Tribune, having worked at WDAS, having worked at WHYY, a couple of other locations over the years, Vincent Thompson. So between Bill Anderson, your truly, Sarah Martin Conley and Vincent Thompson. We got it done. We got it covered today uh, on this very historic and special day, the um, 44th President of the United States, the 56th inaugural celebration in our nation's capital, uh, but a historic day indeed. And I keep using that word historic. I can't find a lot of other words right now to describe this particular moment, but um, it's been awesome. It's been great. It's been unbelievable. It's been moving and touching. And, and just, uh, just, I can't think of another word. I guess maybe that's because I'm tired and I should wrap up this little mini uh, documentary on a bus ride with the Philly Freedom Riders from Philadelphia to D.C. and back home again.